Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Death Stranding. This came out, of course, last November or October for the PlayStation 4 Entertainment Console. This is the PC version. I will have you know, I did receive a code for this for free from Epic as part of their Support a Creator program. It is also available on Steam, but that is where I got my code from, and that's what I'm playing it on right now. And uh, I'm excited to give this a try. It's kind of a weird one. Most of the time in Northern Lion Tries, uh, I know what's happening in the game, and very few other people have seen it at all. <laughs> Most of the time. There's, there's differences, obviously. This time, I'm sure everybody's got their own opinion on Death Stranding already, but I'm excited to give it a try now that it's on PC, and now that I got a PC that is, like, good enough to play and record a game that looks this good. Like, this, this is a gorgeous-looking game right off the bat. Um... So as I understand it, this is the prologue here, and we may have some cutscenes with some licensed music that I'll skip through, but um, you play as Norman Reedus, and you are a futuristic delivery man. It's going to be a weird video. Let's, let's just give it a try, shall we? Put that on my back. Okay. Cargo for the smart drug delivery order required. Total now two of four. Minimum required four. All right, so we will, we will run through here and press RB to scan. The Audra deck can scan for cargo tags. Every piece of cargo has a tag attached. I can live with that. So I'm guessing, and I did actually, I watched a, a streamer from the Checkpoint League you may be familiar with by the name of Jasky uh, play this the other day. So I have a little bit of an understanding. It's actually some of the first Death Stranding gameplay I've ever seen. The way I understand it, is that essentially we are a futuristic delivery man with cybernetic powers that, that grow and change as time goes on. But also, is almost like a little element of co-op, if that makes sense. As we get more and more stuff that we're carrying... Um, jump? Oh. As we get more and more stuff that we're carrying, terrain becomes that much more valuable and... Uh, you know, that much more something we have to consider, I guess. So you don't, like, get a bunch of stuff on your back and then fall downhill. You know what I mean? This is Sam. He's played by Norman Reedus, in case you're, uh, in case you're not familiar with any of the discourse surrounding this game. It also seems like as you play the game, you can leave, uh, like, Dark Souls-style messages and perhaps even uh, buildings around or structures that might help other people, and then they can give you thumbs up like it's a post on Facebook <laughs> and then that gives you resources that you can use in your world believe it or not uh, I am I'm a mechanics guy through and through but I do like Hideo Kojima's you know unique brand of kind of like sci-fi melodrama weirdness um, and I, I'm kinda excited I, I feel like this game might be kind of my jam Kind of like a very slow-moving and, and goateed track mania um, for, for the soul, if you will. So, you want me to explain this? I got no idea what's happening, man. He's got like a... He's got a, a scratch and poke tattoo of a skull. He's got a heck of a pair of guns, you gotta be honest. He's, he is experiencing a, a hot flash, though. He does appear to be getting a little bit... Oh, or a little bit cold, maybe. But be careful, the invisible hand of the free market is coming by. And we don't know what's going on with these guys yet, but you may. <laughs> I did look up online, by the way. I was like, how long is the opening cutscene segment episode of Death Stranding? And it said the first two episodes are predominantly cutscenes. So get ready. This is Leia Sado. She is a French actress. You may know from films that I have never seen because I'm not that much of a cinephile, I suppose. I gotta say, the only thing I can really comment on so far is that this is, without a doubt, one of the most gorgeous games I've ever seen in my entire life. I do also know there is a character by the name of Die Hard Man, which is just truly inspired and, and I'm here for it. Okay, you see they've got claws. I imagine that's bad for the deer. Yeah. 
He's a very broad man, huh? I, I had no idea. I always thought Norman Reedus was, uh, was kind of slight. He's got quite the... You know, I don't want to say it in a weird way, but he's got quite the, the thickness to him. Quite the V taper. I really like that uh, Leia Seydu is wearing the outfit that the Legion of Doom used to wear in the WWF as well. I also believe that she plays a character by the name of Fragile, which is why her jacket says Fragile, Handle with Care. And I, I have to be 100% sincere. I think some people, not a lot, because obviously Hideo Kojima's popular and Death Stranding was very well received. But, um... So I think some people might be like, that's silly. I'm like, yeah. That's why I'm kind of into it. That's why I'm willing, at the very least, to give it the time of day. The other thing is, we're living in a very mercurial sort of moment right now, you and I. This cutscene could be four hours long. I have no idea. This might be a feature-length movie, for all I know. This is, it, it's a truly incredible looking game. I did play Metal Gear uh, Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, by the way. But to be honest, I played through the prologue and thought it, I was having a great time. And then I played through Mission 1 and I was like, I'm not sure if this is for me. <laughs> I think I'm more into the the cinematic and the story elements that I am into the into that like stealth action gameplay, which is kind of why I think I'm a little bit more open to the idea of a game where you just walk around delivering Amazon boxes. But I'm hoping that the game, yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna give me something. So as a result, we can have something to comment on instead of having to pull stuff out of the ether. When do I get introduced to Die Hard Man? She's gonna say something. I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Sorry, I'll, I'll crank it. I'll crank Tears. it. A chiral allergy. So you have dooms like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. It's not as loud as I'd like, but you can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. I will too, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. Naturally, the time fall. My name is Fragile. That's an unbelievable jacket. That's Fragile. She's played by Leia Sedu. <laughs> that right? Sam Porter Bridges. You see he's a porter named Bridges because he carries things over the man who gaps. Died. He's got to dust his back, though. You can see those handprints. Somebody's drawing, like, wash me. God, so, such a powerful outfit. The leather jacket, leather pants, gym bag combination. You want it? A crypto buy it a day keeps the time fall away. Okay. So I'm along with it so far. It's nothing weird, nothing complicated. You're just eating the weird bug to keep away a rain that causes you, you to travel back through time or something. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta be getting back to my shift. Freelance contractor, Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. You know, lady, I get paid by the delivery. I just, I'm still trying to get over how, how good this game looks. Headed into town. Gotta be honest, ma'am. Doesn't appear to be the most practical umbrella. Those things never stay gone for long. That's pretty cool. You wouldn't want to get your finger caught in it, but... Excuse me. I believe I've dropped my, my prime parcel. 
Is this why it's taking so long to get some people their merch? <laughs> but seriously, if you haven't gotten it yet, you might want to contact customer support. The time full fast forwards, whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. Oh, she even the shoulder pads go in and out. Got more spikes than the Awoken Champion in Monster Train. All right, Sam Porter Bridges. You ready to run down an uneven slope of loose gravel? It looks so good. Deliver one or more consignment of smart drugs. The red bar is the blood gauge. When it reaches zero, Sam will die. The blue bar is the stamina gauge. As this gauge depletes, Sam moves more slowly and maintaining his balance is harder. Okay, so we hold on. We do want to press RB as well to do the occasional scan. What's going on over here? We got a silo bite. In case you don't recall what uh, Fragile said. A silo bite. Sorry, a crypto bite. There we go. I think the silo bite is from the, the show Hellraiser. Hey, don't hit me with the music here, okay? We don't do the music thing here because I don't want to get content ID matched I'm sorry it's not it's not me it's YouTube dude so I hate to do it but I'm like oh you won't even let me lower the musical volume specifically you're only gonna let me lower the uh, the actual uh, volume of the game overall Hideo Kojima, you mad genius, you've crafted a cinematic experience, but unfortunately, your cinematic experience has also resulted in me. I don't know, maybe you got this bespoke. Maybe you made this song yourself for the production of the game. It's certainly not like ACDC's Thunderstruck, but at the same time, I am like, uh, how long could it be? The song couldn't possibly be that long, right? Hey, Sam, just keep up the conversation. Oh, 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 yeah, grip yourself. Grip yourself for balance. Okay. All right, so we got to find a way to get across the... <laughs> we got to find a way to get across the river. It sounds like this song is from Dark, dude. Okay, hold on. I hate to do this, but it's necessary on YouTube when you're playing a, a cinematic game like this from time to time. I hate to say it, but we're going to crank this master volume down to, like, you know, low for the time being. Just until we got it, uh, just until we're free from the song. All right, we can cross now. I, you know, I wish it weren't like, they, they think it don't be like it is, but it do. You know what I mean? All right, we should be scanning much more frequently, I'm sure, as well. Okay, smart drugs for Central Knot City. It's an extended opening credit sequence. Oh, there we go. It's okay. So I think you can also hold things specifically in your... Oh, minimum required one. I think you can also hold things specifically like in your hands to, to get a more even load. And I know how that sounds. Um, oh, that's Central Knot City right there. Is that a sign that we can give a like to? I'm really into the idea of the social aspect of this game. I have also heard that you are not supposed to um, spend all of your time trying to get like perfect missions. If you can just get the minimum early on, it becomes easier as time goes on. That's my that's my understanding and my hypothesis on this issue. Um, so just keep it going, brother. You're doing a great job so far. Maybe try eating this thing instead of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the right button. This is the right button. Losing too much blood will cause your movements to become sluggish. Eating cryptobites will rapidly restore your blood levels. How about that? All right. Well, we, we don't really need another one, quite frankly. But I'm, I know I've said this before, but I'm, I'm really into the, the idea of, of the mechanics of this game. Like, look at that. We can just grab that one. You picked up Head of Distribution Central Not City's Dropped Cargo. One like received. Naturally. Okay, put that on my back. Wasn't there a rope here that we could climb, or maybe not? All right, I'll level with you. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go, quite frankly. But I feel like if we just move towards what I'm assuming is Central Knot City, we're going to be okay. <laughs> but I'm really into the, the idea of the weirdness of this game. Now, would I be able to... Oh, stop yourself, stop yourself, stop yourself. There you go. 
Would I be able to uh, to maintain that level of enthusiasm for the 40 to 60 hours that apparently the campaign is supposed to take to complete? That, to be honest with you, I don't have a good idea of. Hope, oh, yo, but you know, this is just like what it's like to train to be a sprinter in Iceland. You know? That's what, you ever wonder why Iceland doesn't produce that many world-class sprinters? It's because they don't have any flatland, you know? It's just exclusively volcanic rock outcroppings. And you're constantly carrying all the Hakarl on your back, all the cases of Viking lager. It's not easy. I do feel like the song is almost over. We're almost good to go. And I will also say, even if this doesn't end up... Whoops. Even if this doesn't end up being the game for me, I guess we want to cross like a little over here. Oh my, I'm sorry, sir, I'm sorry. Even if this doesn't end up being the game for me, I like that we have an industry where like, it can be made. You know what I mean? Like this is like a, a multi tens of millions, if not, oh God. Just stand still for a second. Tens or hundreds of millions of dollars invested to make this, you know, surprisingly avant-garde major release. Even if it ends up being not so much my cup of tea. It is pretty insane, but also cool that it exists. Also that it's reached some level of, like, mass appeal. Which is very surprising, but also, again, very cool to me. All right, keep it up. Keep it up, Norman. You've made it across the river. Try standing still. Get You don't need to tell me. I'm one step ahead of you. Okay, if you'll excuse me, I, I, I lost a little bit of my traction there. I do believe this song is over, so if you'll give me a moment here. See, you have to cut them some slack. Most times they don't have someone as charismatic as me talking in the background at all times, which means that they have to play music so that you don't get uh, distracted or you don't get, you know, bored. But when, when you got the, the smooth stylings of this baritone voice, you don't need anything else. Okay, what is that over there? We can run or stop running. Yo, did you see the way he moved his arms to get that momentum? Truly incredible. Lost cargo, emergency provisions for Central Knot City. You gotta lose your mind in Central Knot City. There you go. Just yeet that onto your back, please, Norman. Thank you. You just put that on your back. You. We are approaching... Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Carrying too much cargo will make it easier to lose your balance. If you find yourself swaying left or right, use LT or RT to shift your weight in the opposite direction and recover balance. I mean, the man does have 70 kilograms on his back. And he's sprinting. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> oh, he, there, oh, you almost lost it there, buddy. Oh, you almost lost it there. Okay, just keep it up. Just keep it up. Okay, you're you're okay. You're okay. You know what? Just keep a steady balance here. Like, this game is so weird that I think... I, I think... To be honest, despite having played almost none of it, I like it... Oh, jeez Louise, dude. Oh, jeez Louise. I like it so much in principle that uh, it's, it's going to be hard for me to to give you an objective opinion if one ever existed in the first place. Ay -ay 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 okay, activate terminal. Make delivery. All of it. Yeah. Yeah. All cargo is ready to be delivered. How about, and what about this? Predicted likes 40? Yes, please. Give me 40 likes. Thank you. Give me 40 more likes and confirm it. I'm ready. Take that stuff off of my back. Alright, Norman. Slide it right into the P.O. box. Three more happy fans just received their hoodies. What took you so long? It's not like the legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Sounds hey, like I know this head. lady. She's Margaret Qualley. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. From Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so 
Great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery. Thank you. I, if I'm correct, her name is Mama. <laughs> Look at that. No cargo damage. Look at the likes coming in. Look at that sweet, sweet dopamine. 28 likes. It's like my EU4 videos. Likes for completing it, 184. Oh, baby, we're in like uh, Dark Souls 2 territory now. We traveled 1.25 kilometers. Two extra likes for that. S, S tier. Am I the greatest gamer of all time? And we get some more likes for this as well. Oh, baby. 42 extra likes. 42 extra likes for some disc-based media. What's my porter grade? I gotta know. Where we at here? What's, what's my porter grade? I'm not gonna be satisfied with merely an A. Total playtime, 31 minutes? We're only 21 minutes into the video. Alright, that's fine. Maybe we got hit by the time fall. See, I'm picking up on the memes. Oh, what the heck? What is it, mama? Oh, wow, they won't even won't even speak to me face to face. They're just sending me an emoji that tells me there's more work to be done. You know what would be wild is if they let me drove one of those. Drive one of those. Yeah, that's how you speak English. We got it. How are you going to get out? Oh, okay. <laughs> you think about everything, don't you? Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges Corpse Disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. All right. Come on. Uh, this has the feel of another 20-minute cutscene. I knew it! <laughs> I knew there was some licensed music somewhere in here. What do you got for me there? He's got a date with the incinerator. Oh, it's a corpse. How long since he flatlined? I don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Uh-oh. This is a suicide. Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Ah, uh, there's zombies. Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that Kyrillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than... Trying for the incentive. He's got an answer for everything. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. Isn't dooms like delayed onset muscle soreness? Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? It's a main quest. There's nothing I can do. Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? If it's helping you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Too real. Makes me feel like shit every time. You are plugging into the other side. It freaks me out too. <laughs> Roll out. Just let me drive the thing. It is a cool car. 
I, I, I can't help but feel that the rollover risk is relatively high. But I'm a sucker for stuff like that in, like, science fiction. Like, in sci-fi, when they're just driving, like, curvier cars 200 years in the future, I'm like, that's lame. When they go the whole way for weirdness, I'm all in. There you go. Look at that. Move the camera. Zoom in. Going to be honest, we're not going to look that way because it might give me motion sickness. Instead, we're just going to look forward. Airplanes. Hell, you could even visit other countries. This game was made before 2020, by the way, just in case you were wondering if it's a little too on the nose. You can see the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Fucked us beyond all recognition. Hey. If you'll excuse me, I'm trying to stay monetizable here. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. Worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started holing up in the city. Like this one. Like yourself, put up on a pedestal. So, uh, what do you do for fun? Son of a bitch. Rainbow! Much further to the incinerator. This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're gonna have to cut to the BTs. My left or your left, though? You should probably start to look at what's going on. Maybe behind us there is uh, some information. Perhaps not. Yo, this is a very Skyrim-esque opening. Yo, turn on your high beams, you goober. I have a feeling that guy is not long for the world. And we are gonna take his corporation baby. No. That's my no. guess. This BB must be busted or something. Oh, never mind, we're good to go. No sweat. Just stay looking straight ahead. It's good for the nausea. I hear things, but I do not see things, and thus I do not fear things. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, I've lost camera control. Hey, look, it's Dan in Trackmania. <laughs> Now it's Dan in Trackmania. So we could have made that better. Hey, look, it's Malf in Trackmania. Then when he crashed, hey, look, it's Dan in Trackmania. But that's okay. So I don't know how much more we're going to play here. Um, because I don't know how much more quote-unquote gameplay there is uh, in this section of the game. But I had a feeling that the video was going to be something like this, you know? I had a feeling I was going to not get to actually interface with the mechanics too much, but instead get a little bit of uh, illumination about what the heck's going on and, you know, at least set the stage for where the game's going here. Um, and I I'm okay with that. I remain open and, and receptive to the idea of Death Stranding. But I will say, I think I'm package-pilled. I think I'm like, I just want to deliver the packages. All this cool sci-fi world-building stuff, that's great. But, you know, there's a man in Not City that ordered six amiibos yesterday that have not yet arrived. He's about to make a very angry tweet. I mean, Norman Reedus is capable of hauling 250 kilograms. 
You could at least help him out, Norman. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. Never mind. He knows what's up. It's like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I don't think so. That doesn't... It seems like the thumb before the storm for me. Who didn't see that coming? <laughs> that old song and dance. People die, they melt, they get sucked up into the atmosphere and then rain back down as an invisible spirit hungry for flesh. Tuscan Raider. He's got his own baby. I mean, if you, if you have any questions about the story, feel free to not ask me them because I am also uh, a little unaware of what's going on. I mean, you weren't really asking for that one. Chat, turn away. I think this might get a little violent. It's it's striking imagery. Don't get me wrong. Going up. Third floor. Cybernetic baby chest harnesses. Fourth floor, invisible handprints. Dude, it's Mewtwo! Well, thanks for watching. We've experienced one three millionth of the story in Death Stranding, and I find myself, uh enamored and enjoying it but finding this the right time to stop i think i'm going to try to find the time to play more of this in my downtime uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did again you can check it out on steam you can check it out on epic you can check it out on the playstation 4 as well uh it seems all i can really say is from the four minutes of gameplay experience over the course of this 35 minute video the pc version seems to look and run pretty well base but i would look into you know I would read a more in-depth review. This is really more of an opportunity for me to experience some of the weirdness um, and, and get a sample of it for myself. So if you enjoyed it, consider checking the game out for yourself. I'll put a link in the video description below. And of course, please do click the like button. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this, probably more on Twitch than anywhere else. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya.